Judens from Montgomery Blair, Meridian, Wheaton. Meet today on It's Active Demo. I'm Hillary Howard, host of It's Academic, the world's longest-running TV quiz show produced by Altman Productions in association with David M. Rubenstein Productions. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness and passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. All right, we are so happy that you're with us today for this fast start round where questions are worth 10 points up or down. First team to buzz in gets to answer, and the contestants do not see what you do on the screens at home. Here we go. Glasses on. 40-40. 40 is a number that comes up frequently in history and literature. Please identify the following, all associated in some way with the number 40. This hero from the Arabian Nights outwitted 40 thieves. Yes, Montgomery Blair. Alibaba. Yeah, freed U.S. slaves hoped for 40 of these land units. Blair. Acres. 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 Acres is right. 40 is the square root of this four-digit meridian. Answer? In three, uh, two, uh, one. 1,600. The element with atomic number 40 is this metal with symbol ZR. Yes, Blair. Zirconium. Zirconium? Yeah. This 40th vice president succeeded Richard Nixon as President Blair. Ford, Ford. Ford is right. There are this many seconds in 40 minutes. Yes, uh, Meridian. 2400. Yeah, you got that one. This word completes the historical slogan 5440 or... Yes, oh, Blair. Fight, 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 fight. Fight. Fight's right. In this sport, the score is sometimes 40 love. Yes, tennis. Blair? Tennis. Tennis is right, and that is the end of our fast start. Let's recap the scores, everybody. Montgomery Blair won 60, Wheaton 100, and Meridian 100 points. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Lots of cheering. Okay, this is the mix and match round, and in this round, uh, questions are going to be worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer, but before we dive in, we're going to meet the teams. And we begin with Montgomery Blair from Silver Spring. Hey, Justin, what's going on? Tell us about yourself. Hello, I'm a 10th grade magnet student at Montgomery Blair High School, uh, and I'd like to thank the rest of Quiz Bowl Club uh, for all their support as we've practiced for today. Wonderful. Hi, you, Sophia. Hi, I'm a 15-year-old sophomore in the Blair Cat program, and I'd like to thank our coaches and sponsors, Mr. Hammond, Mr. Schaefer, Ms. Partan, and Mr. Rada for their support. Wonderful. And Uriel, you reminded me when we met again today that we've met before. You want to tell people where? Yeah, it was... Well, I'm Oriel Frumkin. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I met Hillary before at GOB five years ago. And yeah. I would like to thank uh, Ms. Johnson our principal, and also I'd like to thank you, Hillary, for being here today. Thank you very much. I deeply appreciate that. And in response to that, I've got some questions for you. So here's the first one. Eric entered college. Hidden in this sentence is the name of what crop grown in patties throughout Asia? Rice. Rice. Yeah. Halt a jam. Instead of halting, rearrange these letters to name what building erected in the Indian yep. city of Agra by Shah Jahan as a tomb for his wife. Taj Mahal? Yes, the beautiful Taj Mahal. John Milton wrote an epic poem called Luggage Lost. Paradise. Nah. Please fix it by changing one word. Luggage to paradise? Yeah. Eugenics, hydraulics, statics. Which of these fields of science is best described as the study of the equilibrium of material bodies? Statics. Statics? Statics it is. The greatest public relations building since the... You can complete this description of the Sydney Opera House by adding what massive triangular structures built by the ancient Egyptian pharaohs. Pyramids. That is right. 
Nicely done, Montgomery Blair, 260 points. And now we get to meet team two, Wheaton High School from Wheaton, Maryland. Hey, Solomon, tell us about yourself. I'm Solomon, I'm a uh, sophomore, and I would like to thank family and friends. Wonderful, hello, Asher. Hi, I'm Asher, I'm a sophomore in the Wheaton Biomed program, and I would like to thank Mr. O'Neill for teaching us AP Physics and for supporting our group, and I would like to thank you for allowing us to be on the thank show. Thank you very much, I like that. You all are making me feel very good today. <laughs> Hi, Cooper. Hi, uh, I am a 15-year-old sophomore in the uh, engineering magnet at Wheaton. I would like to thank Pari and Victoria, who unfortunately couldn't make it, but they've been great role models for us. And I'd also like to thank Ben, who was on the team and is standing by and supporting us today. Awesome, all right, guys, here we go. NASCAR versus. Poetry is nice, but see if you can find here the last name of what African-American scientist who did agricultural research at Tuskegee Institute. Carver. Yeah. I am Hall Weiss. No matter what you are, see if you can rearrange these letters to name the Italian political thinker who wrote The Prince. Oh, Machiavelli. Correct. Tennessee Williams wrote the play Cat on a Hot Tin Can. <laughs> no, he didn't. Please fix it by changing one word. Dink, 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 dink. The answer is roof, cat on a hot tin roof. Oh, okay. Yeah, vinegar, table salt, ammonia. Of these three common household items, which one contains nitrogen? Answer? Ammonia. Yes. It's hard to feel morally blank to someone who gets up earlier than you do. To complete this quotation, add what word that names the largest superior. of our... Yeah, superior, that is right. Nicely done, Wheaton High School, 180 points. Yay! And now last, but certainly not least, Meridian High School from Falls Church. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey. Hi. Simone, what should we know about you? Uh, I'm a senior at Meridian. Uh, I just moved to Falls Church, and I'd like to thank our coach, uh, Mr. Pepper over here, for training us up for the last uh, few weeks. Wonderful, that's great. Hello, Riley. Hi, my name's Riley, and I'm a 17-year-old senior at Meridian, and I'd like to thank all the admin at our school um, for allowing us to be here today. Yeah, we're really happy you're here. And Avery, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Avery, I'm also a senior, and I'd like to thank the rest of our team and just everyone else who has supported us. Wonderful, yeah. here's your first question. A gala moment. You can have a gala moment if you find the hidden name of what San Antonio mission, the site of a historic battle in 1836. Uh, Alamo. Yep, it's the Alamo. Tie point. You can get ahead on points if you rearrange these letters to name what First Amendment right listed along with speech, press, religion, and assembly. Press. Yeah, press. Petition is what oh, we're right. looking for. Alexander Dumas wrote, The Three Pigs. No, he didn't. Please change one word and make the sentence correct. Uh, musketeers becomes, pigs becomes musketeers. Yeah, that's yeah. it, much better, thank you. Fluorine, toluene, bromine. Which of these is not a halogen element? Okay, fluorine uh, is not. The answer is? F f uh, f uh, answer? Toluene. Toluene, yes, you may have said that, I misheard. Thank you so much. A sense of humor means looking at things from an offbeat. To complete this quote, place in the space what geometric term for a two-line figure that can be obtuse, acute, or right? Angle. 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 It is Meridian High School, 180 points. Nice job, everybody. Don't go any place because coming up next we have the picture perfect round. Stay where you are. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference.
Now a question for you, our audience. What English writer arranged to have his body cremated except for his heart, which was to be buried in his hometown? The answer is Thomas Hardy. Unfortunately, his sister Mary left his heart on the kitchen table, then the cat grabbed it and ran out the door. Let's get back to our teams. That's a lot of love in that room. All right, it's time for the picture perfect round. Guys, in this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down. All of the clues are on your screens. Here we go. Photographed from space, this is what country whose capital is Nassau? Bahamas. Yes, Blair. Bahamas. Bahamas. Yes. The saurus is the tallest of what type of bird whose whooping variety is on the endangered Blair? Crane. Crane, Crane is it. This is the Santa Catalina convent built over 400 years ago in what South American country, once the center of the Inca Empire? Blair. Mm -hmm. Peru. Peru. Yes. Simplify this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Yeah, Blair. Two. Two. Two it is. This is Frederick Remington's painting of pioneers on their way through what M-initialed desert of the American Southwest? Blair. Mojave. Mojave. Yeah. It's nice to be right sometimes. These were the words of what modern physicist whose name was given to a subatomic particle or boson? Yes, Blair. Higgs. Yeah. A red star was removed from this flag after the fall of Wheaton. Answer. Romania. 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 Yeah, Romania. Very nice. And that is it for the picture perfect round. Let's make out one. Let's recap the scores. Montgomery Blair 380, Wheaton 200, Meridian 180. Let's hear it for those guys, huh? Yeah. So now we have a chance to meet the coaches. There's that love. Now we're going to meet the coaches who prepare the teams for competition. We begin with Montgomery Blair. Sophia, who came with you today? Uh, our coach, Mr. Rada, is joining us today. All right. Great to have you here, Mr. Rada. Wheaton, who's with you, Asher? Mr. O'Neill. All right. What's anything special about Mr. O'Neill? He teaches AP Physics 1 at our school and also heads the April Fool's Tournament, which is kind of like Itzhak. And the it's a club after great school. so you have to get physics and jokes right <laughs> <laughs> meridian riley who's with you mr pepper and his luxurious hair is with us today <laughs> his luxurious hair would you like to describe his luxurious hair yeah, just really flowy and oh, you yeah. can tell he puts a lot of effort into it yeah people can check that out it's nice all right uh we are going to dive into this packet round you know how that works right we have these three lovely packets i'll display them for you one two and three Blair, you get to go first, and Wheaton, you get to choose which of these packets it will be. Two. 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 Packet number two it is. By the way, uh, as you probably know, if you get all of these questions right, there's a 25-point bonus, which is lovely. Here we go. In 2011, after a series of flybys, a spacecraft named Messenger entered into orbit around what small planet closest to the sun? Mercury. 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 Yeah. One of the founders of Amherst College was what American, better known for compiling the first major American dictionary? Webster. 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 Webster is right. Here's your science question. Ginseng ring, greenhouse effect, globular occurrence. Which of these phrases identifies the phenomenon in which infrared radiation is trapped by the Earth's atmosphere and reflected back toward Earth's surface? Greenhouse effect. That is right. When the first transatlantic cable was laid in 1858, President Buchanan exchanged cordial greetings with what British queen? Victoria. Victoria. Queen Victoria, yeah. Hopefully, your teenage years are proceeding more smoothly than those of Holden Caulfield, the main character in what novel by J.D. Salinger? Catcher in the Rye. Catcher in the Rye. Catcher in the Rye is right. Here's your math question. What is the value of this expression, giving your answer as a fraction and taking all roots to be positive? One-sixth. One-sixth. Yes. Nothing he could do enabled what 13th president to win again in 1856 as the candidate of the Know Nothing Party? Yes, yes. Millard Fillmore. Millard Fillmore, and with that answer, Montgomery Blair gets a 25-point bonus. Well done. And a score of 545 points. Wheaton High School. Hi. 
Hi. You get to answer one of these, Meridian, what's it going to be? One. One. Packet number one. I always feel like it's one of the old game shows. Behind door number one, we have these <laughs> questions for you. Okay. Because of his naval victory at Egypt's Abukir Bay, Horatio Nelson was hailed as the hero of what very long African river? Nile. Yep, the Nile is right. As a citizen of Maine advocating for statehood, you would have urged Congress to vote for the 1820 Compromise named for what other state? Missouri. Missouri is correct. Here's your science question. Endocrine, endorphin, endotoxin. Which of these terms refers to a gland such as the pituitary or adrenal that secretes hormones into the bloodstream? Endocrine. Endocrine, Endocrine is right. Though she is known as a leader in the fight for women's suffrage, Susan B. Anthony also worked hard to generate support for what amendment that outlawed slavery? Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteenth is right. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Five. Five. Yeah. After leaving the presidency, what 27th chief executive taught at Yale Law School before being appointed Chief Justice of the Supreme Court? Grover Cleveland? No, it's William Howard Taft. And here's one more question for you. In 1789, a mutiny took place on what English ship where the crew overthrew Captain Bly? Answer in three. Two, one, the HMS Bounty. Nice job, Wheaton High School, a score of 300 points. <laughs> All right, packet number three. All right. <laughs> For Meridian. Matthew Webb could have used webbed feet when he became the first man to swim what body of water between Great Britain and France? English Channel. English Channel. Yes, it is. For 10 years, African-American mathematician Benjamin Banneker published what type of book similar to one called Poor Richard by Ben Franklin? Almanac. Almanac. Almanac it is. Here is your science question. Cecropia moth, honeybee, housefly. All three of these insects can fly, but which one can also live through the winter in its cocoon stage? Cecropia moth. Correct. Though the White House has always been dealt with hot issues, it was really burned only once <laughs> by the British during what 19th century war? Um, war, of 1812. war of 1812. And your laughter made our writers very happy, by the way. <laughs> $81,000 was the magic number as the price of a first edition of what first Harry Potter book? Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone. You are right. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Six. Yeah. The phrase, turn the rascals out, made a catchy headline, but it failed to help Horace Greeley beat what Civil War hero in the 1872 election? Oh, oh Ulysses Grant, right? Grant? Yeah, Ulysses Grant. <laughs> Very well done. Meridian High School, 320 points. Wonderful round. <laughs> Stay with us because we have the grab bag next. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know that Edwin Booth, whose brother John Wilkes Booth assassinated Abraham Lincoln, had earlier saved the life of Abraham Lincoln's son Robert when Robert accidentally fell onto train tracks in 1864? I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Now, a question for you, our audience. What do baby elephants and human babies have in common? Human babies suck their thumbs, and baby elephants like to suck their trunks. But they're all cute. Back to the game. You know, it's time for the grab bag round, and anything can happen because it's fast, it's furious. We have a lot of questions, but first, let's recap the scores. Montgomery Blair, 545. Wheaton 300, and shame on me, I neglected to say that Meridian won a 25-point bonus in that packet round and has a score of 345 points. Awesome. And now the questions for the grab bag. They're worth 20 points up or down. There are some visual questions, too. Here we go.
Although remembered primarily as a president and former general, President Eisenhower also headed what Ivy League University in Blair. Columbia? Yep, it's Columbia. By a curious coincidence, both Disneyland in California and Disney World in Florida are located in counties named for what citrus flair? Orange. 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 Orange it is. If you went berry picking on Strawberry Mountain, you'd be in what West Coast state whose highest peak is Mount Hood? Yes, Blair. Oregon. Oregon is right. On your screens. The corpse flower, the world's biggest and stinkiest, comes from what S-initialed island Indonesia's largest? Yes, Meridian. Uh, Sumatra. Yeah. Choice. When an active metal reacts with water, hydrogen is liberated, and which of these is formed? A salt, an acid, or a base? Yeah, uh, Meridian. Uh, acid. No, it's a base. Since he himself once owned a saloon, it's doubtful Abraham Lincoln would have supported what number constitutional amendment that mandated prohibition. Yeah, Wheaton. 18. Yeah, you've got it. You go to what European country to plead a case at The Hague before the International Meridian? The Netherlands. Yeah. On your screens. A good newspaper is a nation talking to itself. The man who said this was not a newspaper reporter, but what playwright who wrote Death of a Salesman? Yes, Meridian. Uh, Arthur Miller. Correct. How many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of one exterior angle is 36 degrees? Uh, yeah, Meridian. Uh, it has... Uh, Answer? Five. And three. Nope, ten. Sports arenas in both Los Angeles and Montreal have what name that also identified the area in ancient Rome where business and politics were can Blair. Forum. Forum. Forum is right. By studying fossilized bulbs, archaeologists learned that gardeners in ancient Crete cultivated what flower named for the Greek goddess of the rainbow? Wheaton. Iris. Iris, it is. In 1983, there were fireworks to mark the centennial of what bridge that spans the East River in New York? Yeah, yes. Blair. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yes, choice. Which of the following devices is capable of converting heat energy into electrical energy? Electric, <laughs> and that's the buzzer and the end of the game. Nice job, everybody. Uh, the judges are busy tabulating scores, and we will have the official results in just a moment. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Many students are getting involved in their communities in important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hello, I'm Avery. And I'm Riley. And we go to Meridian High School. And one of our favorite ways to get involved in our community is through the Mustang Mystery Club. We do all sorts of things from field trips to case discussions, but our favorite thing to do is an annual murder mystery night put on by our own actors from our own school, which the community can come in and purchase tickets for the night. At the end of the night, all the proceeds go towards the Innocence Project. Last year, we were able to contribute $2,700 to the Innocence Project, and this year we hope to donate even more. Mm -hmm. It feels really good to be able to help people get their lives back on track after they've been wrongfully accused. And it's really great to be able to contribute to such a charity and feel like you're really making a difference. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Okay, it's time for an audience question. For 20 points, what does this word mean? Well, it means a fear of long words. Another 20 points if you can pronounce it. I clearly did not. Back to the teams. The scores are now official. We begin with Wheaton High School from Wheaton, Maryland. Solomon Asher Cooper, 340 points. Thanks for playing, guys. From Falls Church's Meridian High School, Simone Riley Avery winning a 25-point bonus, everybody. 365 points. The team that totally blew it out of the water. Montgomery Blair from Silver Spring. Justin Sophia Uriel, 645 points, including the 25-point bonus. It was a really exciting game. Don't go away because we have a couple things to say in just a minute. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know NASA is planning to send a submarine to explore the liquid methane seas on Titan? Saturn's largest moon. Launch date is scheduled for sometime after 2030. 
I'm David Rubenstein reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness. And passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI, to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. We want to thank you, our incredible studio audience, and our incredible students who competed today right here on It's Academic. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, everybody. Hey, let's get some selfies. Come on up, coaches.